so the point I picked up this work at was finding the impossible witches. Basically, we have this data set which is now spread across a few different locations and it's been maintained and updated by a variety of different people over the past 20 years or so. And we want to make sure that all of the data matches is of good quality and we know what we're working with across both Wikidata and the other platforms this data is stored on. So a little bit about me. I'm just the latest in a lineage of interns who've worked on the Scottish Witchcraft Project. Um, my name is Claire. I'm a fourth year undergraduate studying international relations with quantitative methods at the university. Um, I have a little bit of a coding background, mostly looking at statistics and data visualization in R, but I'd never edited Wikipedia before this and basically was new to the whole environment, but I found it pretty easy to get into. And also I've found that there's really a lot of resources out there. So the first step of my internship has been finding anomalies between Wikidata and the Access database, where the data for the Scottish Witchcraft um, project had originally been stored. So if you look at the screen, you can see there's quite different formats. Um, there's different names, labels for things like gender, um, different categories. And that's because the Wikidata has to be integrated into the whole system of linked data that is Wikidata, whereas the Access Database was created with the survey of Scottish Witchcraft specifically in mind. So in the process of uploading that data to Wikidata, different interns have had to format and kind of reshape the data in different ways to make sure that it fit. Um, but this means there's some potential for inconsistencies or inaccuracies, and we want to check and compare back between these two so we can make sure that the Wikidata is as useful to, to researchers and just people as the original access database. So our goals are to make sure that the any data changes we make are consistent, accurate, and documented, and that means making sure that any updates we make when consulting with the academics who originally were in charge of this project are documented so we know where exactly our sources are for any changes and updates we might make and to just make sure we know which places we've updated the data and where maybe other members of the Wikidata community have stepped in and added information. We also want to create a methodology to pass down, like I had mentioned, I'm just the latest in the string, string of Wikidata interns, and I won't be the last. So we want to make sure that even as the people in charge of this project change, the project itself stays alive and stays tied back to the original source. Um, so my first approach was to use R and compare CSV files from each data source. This is kind of what I was most familiar with. And here I have a couple examples looking at gender and names in the original access database and Wikidata. And you can see for gender, which is all, it's a little bit more simple. There's a few places where um, Wikidata has added in genders um, where we didn't originally have them in the access database. Some of those uh, looking at, for example, row eight, mother of Robertson make a lot of sense, but we've taken all of those anomalies and then had them checked by one of our historians, our kind of expert, to make sure that all of that has good historical backing. Names are a little bit more complicated, um, which it seems like quite a fundamental piece of information, but in the original survey there was the first name, the last name, the modern first name, and the modern surname for each individual. And sometimes the modern and sometimes the historical names were used as the Wikidata labels. And also some people in Wikidata have titles, like the, the Witch of Barnwell, for example. 
And so we want to make sure that all of those match across all our different sources. But because it's a little bit of a more complicated category, um, there's plenty where it's been flagged up as an anomaly, but really the issue is maybe spacing or capitalization rather than a true difference. So we've been going through those by hand, making sure that all of those reflect our most up-to-date and accurate information. So as I was doing this, I kind of thought this works for now, but it's maybe not the most efficient, not the prettiest to look at, not the most clean way to do this. Surely someone else has had this problem and surely someone else could help us come up with a better solution. And um, particularly because it's a Wikidata project, there is actually a huge community of people who have had similar issues or who are willing to help. Wikidata is used in galleries, libraries, universities, other institutions, and just by individuals worldwide. There's about 24,000 active users of Wikidata. Um, and that means that lots of people have created different tools, different methods. There's a lot of documentation for best practices or what people have tried out at different times. But because it's so new, has changed so much, it's volunteer-based open source, a lot of things haven't been kept up to date. And so there's kind of a lot of roads to go down, but also a lot of dead ends to meet. But thankfully, because there are so many people working on it and so many people working on it in a capacity similar to ours for institutions like universities and libraries, there have been a lot of people to turn to for help, um, both Ewan's individual connections from his time as a Wikimedian and also um, groups like a Slack channel for librarians who use Wikidata, which I found really helpful, or the Wikidata project chat, which just kind of allows you to ask questions to the community as a whole, and people actually take the time to answer, which is pretty impressive. Um, and I've found a lot of really interesting information uh, from that, different recommendations people have given me. So as we move forward, starting to look at different tools, that people have used to kind of find a more constantly updating, more user-friendly way to compare this data back. Um, definitely the Wikidata community as a whole has been really supportive and a great help. And hopefully, once we do finalize our methodology for this project, we'll also then be able to share that back and contribute to the development of best practices and the growth of Wikidata, both as a source of data and as a community of people who can share skills, share tools, and kind of help each other with various projects and improve the quality of data for everyone.